Okay, because today is a short day and also it is freaking hot, let's, uh, let's do something to kind of chill out. I'm gonna have you guys, actually let's, uh, let's check and see how warm it's gonna be today. San Pablo, Death Valley, it's already 89 degrees. 104, not here. So it looks like the high is about 82, which is hot here. So we're gonna, yeah. Um, oh, that's weird. <laughs> uh, here's what I want you to do. So you're gonna go to Tinkercad. Okay, if you're a new student in class, um, come and check with me about signing into Tinkercad because there's a really specific way that I want you to do that. So I'm gonna sign in here. And I think, uh, you know, you can create what you want to create if you have something in mind, but I think in light of this slightly annoying and, uh, I don't know what you would call it, I guess a fad, uh, those little fidget spinners, I was going to show you maybe if you wanted to try and create one of those. <clears throat> the first thing I'd do is, um, I need... I mean, the main thing is they have the little ball bearings in them, the, the bearings, which are, I believe, the exact same size as skateboard bearings. So if we go and look at, I'm going to look up dimensions. Oh. <coughs> uh. So obviously there's some weird inappropriate things. Let's avoid that, please. Uh, where are, oh, this would be good. So if this is right, it's saying that a standard ball bearing is about 22 millimeters uh, in diameter, which is important for us to understand. So if we go here, well, let's say we create a new design. And I, I guess the first thing I'll bring out is the cylinder because that's what's going to help us figure out what we need uh, for creating the holes. So this needs to be 22.00 millimeters. We are in millimeters. Yes, we are. So now that's the size of a ball bearing. I'll leave that over there because I'll create holes with that later. And I'm gonna do like a really, just a quick one because again, I don't want you like sitting here and staring at the video. Uh, let's say we have like that and I don't know, I'll make it a little wider. Woo. And maybe I duplicate that and then Spin it around 90 degrees, kind of slob it in the middle there, and I uh, group it, and then make it a little thinner, and then I come over here, and well, I wonder if I don't know. Here, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> duplicate. Duplicate that over there. Duplicate. Put this over here. Duplicate. Put this over here. And then group them. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, again, it's, it's a little sloppy. It's not like perfect, but you get what I'm doing here. So I'm just looking at it's, I mean, this would be probably work, um, but creating the holes so that the the uh, ball bearings can go 
inside these holes and essentially if we printed this on a 3D printer and then we took ball bearings and we made a fidget spinner it probably work so <clears throat> after you're done with that <coughs> excuse me allergies I would I would take a screenshot of this and again I want you to put it on your website so you should have a 3D modeling section in your website I know we like took some pages away but I would put this on there I would explain exactly what it is and um, I'd uh, put an explanation there on like what these holes actually are say that they're for four ball bearings and I want you to put it on your website it's definitely something I'll take a look at when I look at all your robotic stuff so I'll make sure that I, I take a look at this I'd probably rename it uh, whatever you can give it a specific name but um, that's a really standard one I you have time to make it a little more elaborate if you want and if you really really want to try and print it I would probably today I would come talk to me after school because during lunch I'm gonna close down the classroom to try and make it cool in here okay perfect